whispers are true. Whispers are true. Names that are legendary. Stock Hello traders, StockLegends.com here. Today we're going to take a look at APII. We've got an excellent technical analysis uh, set up for you and also I want to mention that we are featuring APII. We've done an investment report. If you go to StockLegends.com and go to Spotlight under Current Play, you'll be able to find a very informative investment research report. So that being said, a little bit about the company, uh, there'll be lots of information there you could read. But one of the key things uh, that I see here is that APII has uh, entered into the intent to acquire Viz Echo Inc., which is a Google product app. They sell Google apps to medium to small size businesses. And this particular company is the only company in the world that has a global worldwide license, meaning they can sell their apps anywhere. Um, they currently are working with APII into some international markets and we should see some very important developments occur if these two companies do merge together very likely that uh, that's going to be happening in the next little while so let's take a look at some of the technicals uh, we've got a short term and a long term chart here I want to present to you so some of you may have been familiar with this particular chart maybe seen it around a little bit but for those of you that have not this basically is suggesting that the price was moving in an upwards trend. We've got the blue support line pushing the price up. And once we break below this blue support line right here, the stock reverses into a downward trend. Now we built up some resistance around 26 and a half cents, had a recent spike to 33. So we're going to call this the resistance area between these two levels. And so basically we had a downtrend. This red resistance line was pushing the price down. You can see we found some nice support right around five cents where we held it for three days and we broke out past the, the red line which reverses the trend again into an upwards trend. So we had a really nice spike here up to 11 cents and then we had a three day consolidation. Consolidations are healthy for the stock to move higher. They need to build little supports and bases before the stocks can move up. It's very healthy to have these sorts of consolidations. The stocks run straight up, they usually crash straight back down. So it's nice to have these little consolidation periods from time to time. Intermediary of every upwards move. And we had another nice spike here again, a second spike, and now we've got another little consolidation. We've hit a little resistance here. It's a 50 day moving average. You can see we bounced from it here on one particular day and then we broke below it, moved lower. So what was previously a support is now behaving as resistance. Now we've got our main trend support line that's pushing the prices up. It's squeezing against the resistance. So all we need is a little bit of volume again and we should shoot right past that resistance line and we have an opportunity to come back up and test 26.5. Uh, you can see the RSI is moving up. We bottomed here just off 30, giving an oversold signal and it's been trending up. So that's a healthy uh, thing to see. We also have the MACD lines. This is excellent because you can see how wonderful of a job it's doing giving us buy and sell signals you can see right here where the MACD lines crossed over and started to move down that coincided with a downward trend occurring we also have the MACD lines just recently crossing up here just a day or two ago uh, indicating that we've now got the confirmation upward trend this was a little bit possibly of a little bit of a delayed signal the breakout occurred on the price line here we've got the confirmation of the upward trend and the MACD here you can see how much room it has to move up um, the RSI is currently sitting at 52, uh, under 53, so generally doesn't start to get over so overbought until it's hitting over 70 to 90, and even then it can hold that overbought signal for quite a period of time as we saw in the last run. Uh, and also we've got the accumulation line also giving us uh, that curve to the upside you can see how it's kind of making that nice bottom bowl and it's starting to accumulate the accumulation is starting to trend back up also a very positive and healthy sign now let's take a look at a long-term chart something I haven't showed you guys yet uh, this is a weekly chart it goes back a few years you can see the stock had um, a, a price collapse all the way down to around the four cent area traded as low as two cents briefly some support around three cents but what we start to see is an upwards trend developing we are we call this a channel and we've got a rising channel which suggests that in the long term we've got a rising trend that's occurring and we generally bounce from resistance to support you can see that if we start to connect these red lines to get our, our tops together we draw a red line which is resistance you can see that 
they start to predict where the tops are going to be. Our last top was at uh, 33 cents. So we can sort of estimate where our next top could occur. Depending on how long it takes to get there, we have a general idea right around this red area line is where our next top is going to be. Currently at 13.5 cents, uh, certainly a long ways to go. Now if you look at the support, same thing here again. You can see that where it bounces from uh, 2 cents, it runs up to 22 cents. That's about over a thousand percent gain. The next dip was three cents to 33 cents. Again, a thousand percent gain. Here again, we've hit that support level at five cents. Where's it going next? We've got 50 cents right around here, just above that red line. Could be very possible. We're gonna go up to the 40, 50 cent range here on this next move up, according to the long-term chart, very possible. Um, so currently at 13.5%, the downside risk to maybe six or seven cents seems quite minimal versus the upside of going to 40 to 50 cents and you can also see on the RSI here where we had a recent overbought you can see that what's really interesting to see is that we've got incredible volume that's occurring here as the company is starting to restructure it's building its business plan you can see there's a lot of invest in, investor interest picking up in the stock so when we have a lot of volume like that it is able to push the RSI above 70 you can see on low volume and stuff, it barely makes it up to 70. Here we broke around 85 on the RSI. So we certainly don't look like we're overbought here on the weekly chart on the RSI. Uh, we're currently at 54. And you can see it's making this really nice curve heading back up. So we could see another move in the RSI up, in, up into this uh, 85 area. So certainly looks like it has a lot of room to move on that as well. And we're gonna take a look at the STO. Here you can see that the STO is starting to hook around. We can sort of use this as a momentum indicator. When it's moving up, it's moving in an upwards trend. Uh, this cross over here was probably a great exit point. And again, we're getting that uh, opportunity to see the, the STO starting to hook around. And we could see another buy signal being generated. And also, let's take a look here at the accumulation line. Uh, it's bounced off the bottom, heading back up. Another great signal for a buy. Thanks very much for watching. Till next time, uh, don't forget to check out the investment research report at stocklegends.com. Until then, happy trading.